Good morning everybody. Today we are headed over to the Ancaster Fairgrounds in Ontario to check out the tiny home show. So let's go see what this is all about. Here we go. made it there we are just in Burlington but one thing to note there's a ton of construction which means there is tons of traffic it is Saturday afternoon and it has been pretty much stopped the whole time we have been driving so just take note of that as well to get into the show it cost us $30 a person so $60 total and that was for two adults now children 12 and under were free so if we had brought the boys at least one of them would have gotten in for free Well, that drive took us almost exactly four and a half hours. Much, much longer than we anticipated. So stock yourselves up for the traffic in the city. Time to get out, head on into the tiny home show, and I hope it's worth it. Looks like there's a lot of good things outside, so let's go see them. Okay, we got our bracelets, we're good to go. There's a camper over here. Did you guys build this yourself? We did, yes. And you're renting it out? Yeah, so we build and we rent and sell as well. Oh, okay. Rent? Okay, okay. So you do more than just this one? Yeah, we actually have five rental vans. Um, and then we'll build custom for you as well. Okay, I see. So tidy. Right, I'm gonna take your card. Thank awesome. you so much. Thank Mine. you. Tiny home race. Okay. You wanna go outside? Sure. Build in your backyard. Did you want something? We have a little coffee place. Build and park anything. Well, they have some food trucks out here. Dairy free smoothies. Authentic Mongolian yurts for sale for season. Let's go take a look in there. Groovyyurts.com. Okay, we've got some for sale by owner. Full year Parker Community, seasonal resort or vacation rental. 
So we're going to go in through the back door. We've got another one over here. I love the one behind me. Let's go see what's going on. Sorry. Hello. Welcome. Oh, are you, are you? I'm filming. I'm filming. Yes. How well, long have you lived in here? Have you lived in here? I never got to move in. That's why I'm selling. Oh, that's too bad. Is it solar? No, it's not off-grid at all. So you would have to get a hydro hookup and septic and all of that. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to look around. Yeah. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Hello, welcome. Come on in. <laughs> This could be a bedroom. Nice shower. Just gonna go look at your loft. Yeah, sing. I just love these. Jet and compass. Yes. Yeah. Thanks for coming by, folks. Ooh. I'm too big to get her. Thanks! <laughs> well, you'll see your little the house keg. there. Yeah, haunted, the keg mansion. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Zero squared, I've seen them. Mm hmm. Yeah, they are a popular builder, and this is one of their more popular models. So, did you customize anything? Um, usually, they have a, another sliding door there. Yeah. But I elected for a regular door. That makes sense. All right, so that was Carla's home. She is selling it. She has not lived in it. Nice to meet you, Carla, and thanks for subscribing. Let's go on over to this one over here. Tiny Home Marketplace. So these are all for sale by the owner. So we'll find out if we can look in there. Hello. Hi. Are you okay if I film your tiny home? Sure. Did you live in this one? I did for seven years. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. Did you travel around with it or park it? No, my intention was to never travel. It was just to move it if I ever needed to, which I did once. Yeah? Yeah, I had to move it once. And where did you find a space to park it? Were you in like a park? So I found a place first, which I highly recommend doing. I found a place in a privately run trailer park. Okay. And so they allowed tiny houses, so I moved there, and about two years in, uh, we found out that while the owner was in support of us living there year-round, the municipality wasn't. Yeah. So we had to leave for the winters, and I thought, I have this beautiful house that is ready to be lived in, 24-7, mm -hmm. 12 months a year. So I decided to find another place, and I put an ad on Kijiji, and a property manager uh, who was managing property for an owner who had several hundred acres reached out to me and part of their property, they had a bunch of cabins, and most of the cabins were decrepit and falling down. Well, I hope you sell it. How much did you say it was? 105. 105, wow, that's really inexpensive. Compared to some, yeah. It's a seven-year-old house. Really Still, nice. so we're gonna pop in this model next. This one is steel. We'll wait for these guys to come out. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Do you mind if I film? No, not at all. Okay. Just want to make sure before I... Is this your personal house? Uh, it's not my personal house. Well, I mean, technically, I guess it is. <laughs> um, I funded the whole project. Um, this is my construction company trying to uh, adapt and get into more affordable and sustainable housing. Okay. Sure. Yeah, so I this signed... Is our, this is our premier model. Um, very nice. This is... Yeah, this is our, our model home. Um, it's 200 square feet, or eight and a half feet wide, 24 feet long. Mm -hmm. um, we have 11 foot interior ceilings uh, on the left hand side here, 10 foot on this side. Uh, in the lot, it is a sleeping lot, so you have a um, 4 foot ceiling and 3 foot ceiling. Uh, there's 10 windows. Mm -hmm. Try to make it as bright and as you could. Yeah, for sure. Wow. Primary heat in the AC is your mini split system. Secondary heat source is the infrared mirror in the bathroom. Infrared mirror in the bathroom. 
I like this. This is really nice. Thank you. Yeah, there's a lot of really nice finishes in here. How much does something like this cost? This unit is for sale for $155,000. 155 With the appliances. Nice. Can I go upstairs? Yeah, of course. Just watch your head on the way up. You get four feet. So there is a six bay cub unit and a, and a wardrobe upstairs with some more storage space. Yeah, it's a lot taller than a lot of lofts. Oh, this is adorable. Some storage space in there. Yeah. And the, um, the French cleat system uh, feature wall here, all yep. the shelves can move. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's a nice little touch. Yeah, people might want to add some for more plants or books or more candles or books and baskets. And... I like the colors you chose. Thank you. Actually, I like everything you've done. It's Thank you. Really, I really nice. That. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, it was. Uh... I actually picked all the colors and stuff and the materials uh, and stuff. Yeah? Well, good job. Yeah, it was, uh, it was fun. It was fun to do the decorating and stuff. At first, I really hated the color I chose for the, for the feature wall. Um, it was before I put the, the black railings in. And once I put the black railings in, uh, I really sort of tied everything together. Yeah, it looks really nice, actually. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, guys. How's it going? How are you doing? Yeah, great, thanks. Do you want to come in? No, no, we're, we're at the replay. We're doing the rim box sale. Oh, cool. So uh, where to... is it? Is it like behind it? It's in that building back there. There's the front building, and the main one in the front. Okay. And there's a building behind. Oh, love those. Okay. So, Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna try Ooh, to sneak. Probably, I think that roof, the far roof over there is you. Okay. okay. That's Cause I'm gonna come and sneak in. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, this one's got guided oh, tours of six. And you can buy a picture. You're like, is, is that a bug? Well, if she has... All right. Are you then, filming just for yourself? I have a little YouTube channel. It's a very little YouTube channel. Okay. It's a little wobbly from the use. But I'm also, I'm just looking for myself, and this is beautiful. So whose house is this? This is the lady who just let you in. Wow. This is her place. This is gorgeous. Yeah, I love you. your house. <laughs> thank you. I like the setup with the the bedroom in the back. Oh, wonderful. Are you here as a single person? Yes. Or is there more than one person living here? No, no. I live in. A, I need to move. We need a lot of energy. It's hot, isn't it? Yes. She's standing outside, which is not the best. No. I see these smeg appliances in a lot of these mm -hmm. small. Mm -hmm. oh, that's really nice. All right. I love the layout of this one. Mm. It feels so spacious. It, it certainly does, yeah. And that is, that is because it's a conscious design. You know, everyone's, everything is designed so with intention. It's $180,000, turnkey entirely, fully furnished. There's a deck that we situate out here typically. It right. is eight by 16. Mm -hmm. So very gracious deck and a shed, a generator, deck, her deck furniture and two f uh, full propane tanks. That's 180. And 165 is um, everything except for the furnishing. Okay. Right? Yep. Um, and where she's Parking it after the show is called Twin Springs in Burford, uh, Ontario. And what they offer is um, 11 and a half months of living. And um, two weeks of that, the human needs to vacate. Okay, let's get a picture of this QR code here. Here it is. 
Willowdale Tiny Home. Let's see what this guy is all about. Illo. I-L-O. Show price yeah. is one seventy five. All right, thank you. Oh. Hi. Hi there. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah. It's just a horse chilling out. Good things. What are you saying? Very well, thank you. We're about ninety percent complete. So it's our construction. So a little bit of payments and housing to be we're in the den. This is 40 feet long by 10 feet wide. Yeah, a lot bigger for sure. Yeah. With that loft space. Oh, I see the other loft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, cute. We'll do that with your Seymour, maybe. So be enough for a king. That's adorable. It's really big in here. There's so much space in here. Smart Home Designs Niagara. This looks like a big one. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Do you mind if I film in here? Yeah. Of course you can go right ahead. All right. How much does something like this cost? Yeah. Um, this would be low 200s. Low 200s? Okay. It's huge. Oh uh, yeah, big counter space and everything. So this is a Murphy bed. This is a Murphy bed. You don't have to do anything with this one. You can keep it same like this way. Yeah. But still. Wow, that's neat. Yeah. You can make a queen size bed here. You can fit the queen size here. And you still have space on this side. Yeah. I like all your moldings. You did a really nice job. Thank you. I also like when they have the bedroom on the main floor, so especially. Bedroom and main floor we have. Yeah, especially as somebody who is clumsy, I would probably like fall down the ladder. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. I like this one a lot. I like the layout. How how big is this? Oh, that's nice and cool. Six wide, thirty feet. So more of like a park model. 
Yeah. Okay. I like your windows. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. So these look more like park models. But this is an RV. Let's see what's going on in here. Yep, RV. It's QR code right there. 727 bi weekly. Feels more like a home. It's a hallway. Let's see what's happening in here. Feels more like an RV. But it's still really pretty. Lots of windows. All right, let's go next door. Check out the bathroom. Hi. There's a seat in there and the shower. Again, more of an RV, but it's a nice compact size. 233 bi weekly, 235, sorry, 235 bi weekly. Show price fifty thousand. Eight people. The Keystone Hideout. I think that's a fireplace over there. Well, this is definitely a nice little camper. cool in here too. All right, they've got some kangaroo trailers here. I've looked at these online. They are good for building tiny home, tiny homes on wheels. So let's take one of those. Here's all your options. Yes. 
on your rail too. The rail should be by law from the third one up and on the top, but for the purpose of Okay. So it comes with the rail here and on top. And then first let's go we're actually going to do a railing, like kind of diagonal on the top, like a see-through metal railing, but then like, what if somebody wants to ask, I'm like, sure. Hello, welcome. Hello. Thank in. you. This is phenomenal. Thank, Thank you. Come on in. Have a look. Oh, my. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Isn't this Thank fantastic? You. you got the right idea. I don't have, I got my phone, though. I should take some pictures. Well, I? yeah, your phone is definitely probably just as good quality. Wow, look at all this built-in storage. This is actual stone I'm standing on. This is phenomenal. Oh, that's really neat. It's got like a texture. I would live in this when I have just one child or none. Thank you. Sorry, are you coming up? Living Sweets.
let's go in this one. Although it's nice in here though. Yeah. Is Keith still uh here? Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Hello. That's great. In the bathroom, yes. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, face seven dagger anyway. Yeah. Uh, it's glint. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Y
No, it's a standard. Standard. Eight, wow. Eight by forty and nine feet tall shipping container. It feels pretty big. Hey, hey. how's it going? Good, you. Not bad, thanks. Good. Where do you ship to? Anywhere you'd like. Okay, that's a good start. <laughs> Check mark one for me. My brother lives in BC. No problem. Let's see. Next is tiny room. This is very cool. It's just an extra space for the kids in the backyard. Okay, you guys we are all done in the tiny home show that was even better than I expected it to be I loved going through all of those tiny homes I hope you enjoy some of those tours I hope I got some good footage I did meet a lot of people and what I liked the most I think about it was that there was so many like-minded individuals um, just sharing their stories and their journeys and the rules and regulations on building a tiny home in Ontario so it was however extremely hot outside so it was nice to step into some of those and have them have air conditioning and just seeing one of them was a shipping container so seeing the layout with the hallway I thought was really pretty cool uh, it's hard for me to envision some of these things so I really really enjoyed it I hope you guys all enjoyed that video and uh, thanks a lot for coming along we will catch you guys all in the next one